Good morning, everybody. So I, I just want to say, <laughs> my Lord, I, I, I am actually thoroughly, thoroughly impressed uh, with with what GM did with the Bolt EV. <laughs> I'm shaking, really. Um, this, uh, yeah, so this route, uh, this uh, 89.3 mile route, this is one that I commonly drive or drove in my first generation Volt. And this is the one that I said would typically require about 10.5 kilowatt hours of battery capacity, plus about a gallon and a quarter of gasoline. Uh, and I mean, as you can, you guys could probably tell, right? You get, get about 40, 40 miles, a little bit maybe, more maybe per each. And then the rest is the, uh, you know, adds up to the 90 with that quarter gallon or whatever. Um, and, and, and I would say probably about 20 miles of this is uh, city to highway driving where it's 40 to 55 miles per hour uh, with stops. But all the rest of it, um, about 70 miles of it, was actually freeway driving at about 65 to 70 miles an hour. Uh, so yes, I didn't have the climate settings on, but I wouldn't do that in the Volt either. Um, and the battery conditioning, well, this car sat on a mountain in 20 degree temperatures overnight, um, for two days without being plugged in. And it still didn't read anything on battery conditioning. I'm guessing that has to happen at really low temperatures. Um, but, uh, yeah, probably, probably sub 20 degree Fahrenheit temperatures would be my guess. But a GM engineer could probably answer that. But anyway, I mean, this is this is ridiculous. I don't know that I can get this car um, to run out of juice with less than 200 miles of, of driving in Southern California without doing some serious breaking of speed laws. And uh, yeah, or, or I mean, it'd have to be very, very severe conditions. Um, and high speed driving com combined to, to, I think, get less than 200 miles an hour, which I think is also why a lot of the, the GM engineers and testers said, yes, this car will definitely get over 200 miles of range. Um, and they said that even, um, you know, even before EPA did the testing. And, and I, I, I have some pet theories on this, you know, uh, uh, yes, the Volt is far more aerodynamic than the Bolt a, uh, EV, but the Bolt EV is more efficient in almost every other way. The, the battery is more efficient, the motor is more efficient, um, the drivetrain is more efficient. All of these things are way more efficient than the Volt. So all of those things I think could combine to have an effect. And something else, I, and I don't know how the pronunciation is it, Puckert, uh, it's, it's German, so I'm guessing the, the T isn't silent, but um, Puckert's law basically says that the faster you discharge a battery, um, the less capacity that it will have. Uh, and, you know, the, the common usage is you use a C to represent one C means that a battery is either charged or discharged fully in an hour. Um, that's the rate of discharge, right? So, and, and some people will probably come in and correct me on the details of this, but yeah just consider this if the volt is 10 percent um is 10 percent more efficient aerodynamically than the bolt ev say at a given speed the volt might be using a 20 kilowatt constant draw on the battery and the bolt would be maybe a 22 kilowatt constant draw on the battery well in the volt that would be a 2c discharge in the Bolt EV, that would be a 0.4 C discharge. So there might be something to that. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to update you. I'm here at my work chargers now. I'm going to head into work, um, have the car plugged in. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I it seems almost like a waste to to you know pay three dollars for just you know 22 kilowatt hours of of energy, but um, but at the same time, uh, you, you know, if I was only on a four hour session with a six kilowatt charger, you know, I might, I might only, 
you know, I might only get like 24 kilowatt hours anyway. So, uh, but all right, well, I'm signing out and, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this kind of a direct comparison from the first generation volt to the Bolt EV on one of my typical, uh, commutes.